I really am interested in an immersive experience that you move through so you're really experiencing the work like physically and, and looking up and down and discovering things that are at your feet and then turning around and there's something else to investigate. So it's really about a chance to be actively looking and investigating things right? and being curious about things. I find when people first come into my studio or see my work it's like a little overwhelming but then as they sort of start to adjust their eyes and start to look more closely, there's like a lot of anomalies and different things that they start to discover. And so there's always like these little parts where you can sort of start to look inside things and then you zoom in and realize there's a whole nother thing going on. So, you know, I'm really interested in the way that things are always changing and growing and transforming, right? So a lot of these are inspired by biological processes and I, and I think they playfully start to reference the human body and systems in the body and plant systems and geological structures. So there's this work, Brain Fruit, where I was thinking about systems of the brain and sort of um, the malleability and elasticity of the brain. A lot of the inquiry that initially led to this work led me to really look into bioengineering and to the way that we as humans now have this ability to manipulate things on a microscopic level. And that allows for all these really exciting possibilities, but also these it's this uncertain territory. I'm in a way playing mad scientist. I'm sort of imaginatively splicing these things together. Each object is an accumulation of parts. Each installation is an accumulation of parts. And combining them together, the installations themselves become parts to a larger whole. The simple leading to the complex, right? I work with a lot of different materials. I'm always experimenting with materials. And I use epoxy and I use surface treatment so that hopefully you can't tell where one material stops and another begins. This started as a cardboard box and I started adding ceramic parts onto it. Here, so these pieces are with the three doodler, which is a 3D pen. This piece was a long sleeve shirt that got sort of transformed with materials. So this is newspaper that was dipped in liquid clay and then the newspaper burns out during the firing process. So it seems familiar, but it also allows for this flight of imagination, for it to be something strange, something familiar and something strange at the same time. And the color sort of also adds to that sort of hyper real, imaginative world that I'm asking you to kind of enter into.